go. But it's a long way out to those panels. All right, the first of the feed wires going in the ground. Got Larry out here to keep us all straight. Just get out of the damn way, boss. <laughs> yeah, that's what he said. Told me to get out of the way. Get out of the damn way. <laughs> One of six. I like it when I have Larry out here. He told me just to get out of the way. Sit in the shade. The other guys don't tell me that. But we got some good help today. Got Clay and Zach and Justin and Larry down the other end. And we're pulling in uh, the source wires for the PV array. We have three source wires and then we have three spares for possible future set of panels. It's number four, direct burial aluminum. And I chose to put it directly in the ground versus the conduit because the cost of putting it in conduit was almost the same as the cost of the wire itself. I mean, the cost of the conduit, installing the conduit, was almost the same cost as installing the wire. So I'm no better off if I had to change them out or add another cable. It won't cost any more. Finally, the wire we were looking for. The last one. Six number four duplex aluminum URD cables and one bare number six ground. Ah. I just gotta straighten them up a little bit and tail them into the panels and cover the ditches. Well, we're winding the day down. We didn't quite make it all the way finished. But we're close. I gotta repair this ground wire. I hit it with the backhoe. You gotta tie this wire in. And a little bit of grounding in this box. Right here. On the lighting arresters and a little tidying up. Get the ground in here. And then it's gonna be finished. All the PV wires are landed here. They're all connected over at the combiner box. In fact, the, the combiner box and the PV array is 100% finished. But I'm not going to turn it on until we get the grounding done. And we're just all too, all too tired. It's 5:30. We've been at it all day. We got all the ditch covered up except for a couple little places. Having a lot of oil leaks, seal leaks started up on my tractor today. One on the back hole and then one on the uh, on the front bucket. So I'm gonna get those fixed, but hopefully I'll have enough to finish this up. Anyway, we gotta go to jobs tomorrow. So the guys did a good job. Larry and Justin and Clay and Zach, they're somewhere over there. I got to bring Larry out on these little projects more often since he tells me just get the hell out of the way. <laughs> I can't get these other guys to tell me that. All right. Enjoy the evening.